Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how a guardian can sign their child in and out using the eye checking device. Before a guardian can set up themselves in eye checking, you need to ensure the guardian is in Kidsoft and has a valid phone number. If it's a mobile number, you need to ensure that SMS has been enabled. If they have a landline because they do not have a mobile number, under the eye check-in, you can click enable PIN. That will generate four zeros automatically for the guardian, allowing them to enter that in when they set up their eye check-in. Moving over to eye check-in, a guardian will enter in their mobile number or landline number. They will select their name and enter in the PIN number that is sent via SMS to their mobile. If they do have a landline and you have enabled their PIN, the Guardian will enter in the four zeros. And they will click enter. Regardless of whether the Guardian receives the PIN via SMS or with the four zeros, they'll be asked to create a new PIN. If the service has the iCheckIn messages enabled, when a guardian first logs in to iCheckIn, if there have been any messages created, the guardian will see these messages. To move on to sign the child in or out, they can click continue. The guardian will simply then click sign in to sign their child in. And if the roles are reversed and they are signing their child out, it will say sign out. It is based on real time and will timestamp based on the time in the left hand corner. If they are marking their child absent, they tick the absent field and then select an absent reason and then click save. If the service has the eye check in terms and conditions, they will need to read these terms and conditions before moving forward and then they can click continue and it will automatically log the guardian out. If the guardian has more than one child to sign in, they will be all listed and the guardian is able to sign the child in and out multiple times for those doctor's appointment scenarios, for example. Just switching back over into Kidsoft, a, a helpful tip, if the guardian forgets their phone, when they are first logging in or their SMS is being delayed, scrolling down to their filter, if you select automatic SMS in the filter, it will display the SMS four digit code that was sent to the guardian's phone number. If the guardian does forget their PIN, when they enter in their phone number, they will then click on their name and they have the ability to click on forgot pin. This will send them another SMS to their device, to their mobile device, and the service will be charged for that SMS. So each SMS that has been sent via for eye check-in, the service is charged for that 20 cents. For any further information in and around guardians signing in and out or setting up for eye check-in, please do not hesitate to reach out to the Kidsoft customer success team. You may also like to look at our additional video tutorials in our YouTube channel for more tips on Kidsoft.